Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 16. In this training module, we're going to be taking a look at and working with our closed loop fuel correction found within our sniper system. We have a lot of things to talk about in covering this specific topic. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at understanding our closed loop fuel correction within our Holly Sniper systems. Now, this closed loop fuel correction is going to be essentially self tuning your Holly fuel table as you're driving and operating your engine. We want to understand how to work with our closed loop correction so we can use it to our advantage for updating and tuning our main fuel table. So there's going to be all kinds of details we cover here in this training tutorial. Now this is only going to focus on our closed loop or the closed loop compensation within the programming. There is going to be a learn function, which is known as a long-term fuel trim, and that is going to be something we cover in the next tutorial. And combined with both the closed loop and the learn, we have the total correction that gets applied to our fuel table. So this is just part of how the closed loop control in, in total works, but we're going to break this down and just make sure we understand it completely here for this specific topic in this tutorial. So the very first thing we need to do here is go ahead and locate our closed loop function and understand some of the programming aspects and how this works. We're going to be taking a look at a data log in this tutorial that'll allow us to understand and review our closed loop compensation and working with it a little bit further so that when you're downloading your data logs or you're working with your data logs in your sniper software, you understand what to look for and how to translate the closed loop correction data into making changes in your fuel table. Let's jump in and take a look. So what we're going to find here I have a base file open, street strip cam.sniper. We're going to move in here to our system ICF, and then we're going to go down here into our closed loop slash learn. Now, in here, we can access both functionalities within our closed loop control. So, the closed loop would be known as our short term fuel trim or the instantaneous correction in our uh, closed loop operation and then the learn here would be known as the long term fuel trim. So if you have any experience dealing with newer vehicles, OBD2 based vehicles, they're going to have both a short term fuel trim and a long term fuel trim. We can use both of those trims in order to correct how an engine is running and that's the same functionality we're going to find here within our sniper system. What we're going to be taking a look at here and dissecting and looking at specifically in this tutorial is just our closed loop parameters here first. So this is going to make a bit more sense and then we can learn how to work with our learn parameters and use that for tuning as well. So the first thing I'm going to take, take a look at here is just going into the learn parameters. I'll toggle off my base fuel learned enable so that we're going to make our ECU only run in just the closed loop correction. Now, what is the closed loop correction? Well, we're going to have our oxygen sensor, the wideband sensor, mounted into either bank in our exhaust stream. That oxygen sensor is going to measure an air fuel ratio and report that back to our Holly Sniper ECU. And what that's going to do is take a look at then the target air fuel coming from our target air fuel table. So let's take a look at this real quick. We have our target air fuel table. And we're going to find that our target air fuel table is going to establish what we want to run as the desired target air fuel at any given load or RPM point. We had a specific tutorial talking about our target air fuel, so that topic should be familiar at this point as we're moving into this specific training module. So we'll have our actual air fuel, we'll have our target air, air fuel here specified, and the Holly is going to be able to calculate what's known as an air fuel difference or air fuel percentage error. And it's going to be the difference between our target or desired air fuel and the measured actual air fuel. And it's going to be a percentage of air. Now that percentage of air is what's used to drive our closed loop functionality here. Now what's going to happen is at idle, part throttle, and wide open throttle, that wide band will be constantly feeding in an air fuel reading to our sniper system. And that's going to be constantly taking a look at that air fuel air. Now, depending on how far that air is showing in terms of being off in terms of percent, it could be 10% off, 2% off, whatever that's going to be. That's going to drive our closed loop compensation. And if we go take a look down here in our lower window and we scroll across here, we're going to find under our learn tuning, we have this closed loop comp value. This would be what's working and driving in our closed loop parameters and our closed loop operation. This is the starting point for our closed loop. This is known as our short-term fuel trim. Again, if you're familiar with newer vehicles, this would be the short-term fuel trim 
the line would be the long-term field trim. So in our status window down here, you're gonna notice this is going to have a certain percentage of adjustment or correction if you're at idle, part throttle, or wide open throttle conditions. And you'll find that this is driven based off of the target air fuel's request for what we wanna run our air fuel at and the actual air fuel. What the difference is between these two, again, calculates an air fuel error and that's going to be a percentage and it uses that percentage to figure out how much to make its adjustments here. Now this percentage of adjustment goes and it bases against the injector pulse width that's coming from our volumetric efficiency calculation. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.